For today's lesson, you will need a pencil and a sheet of paper. Anyone who has ever been lost will understand how Gordon feels on his first day at a new school. He knows he is supposed to go to music class, but he can't remember how to get there. However, Gordon is a resourceful little guy who asks for directions and then follows them. Have you ever gone to a new school or gotten lost? Before we begin, let's go over some sight words. Here are several words that you will see frequently throughout this book. They are hall, left, and right. We will say each word three times. My turn, hall, your turn. My turn, hall, say it. My turn, hall, your turn. My turn, left, say it. My turn, left, your turn. My turn, left, say it. My turn, right, your turn. My turn, right, say it. My turn, right, one last time. Your turn to complete the rest on your own. In this book, there are some tricky words. We know we can read through the tricky words by looking for chunks we know, saying each sound slowly, saying the sounds faster and faster, then reading through the whole word and thinking, does that make sense? Let's try an example. The first chunk that I see in this word is class. Class is a sight word that I see in school. The second chunk is the word room. Class room. Classroom is a compound word that you will see frequently in this book. Let's try another example. The first chunk that I see in this word is the letter blend, st, st. The next chunk that I see is the sight word, air, air. The last letter is the letter S. That makes this word plural. Let's put these three chunks together. St, air, s, st. Airs, stairs. Stairs is a word that you will see in the book, Gordon Finds His Way. Now it's your turn to try some on your own. Pause the video to sound out these words on your own. Remember, to look for chunks you know. Say each sound slowly, then say the sounds faster and faster, and put together the word, thinking, does that make sense? It's time to read the text. While you are reading, I want you to think about the question, what kind of directions does Gordon have to follow? Now, Pause the video and resume when you have finished reading the book.
comprehension questions. To do this, you will be mining for evidence. When we mine for evidence, we find the answer in the book. We turn to the correct page number so we know where in the story the information is. Remember, book, page number, and where. How did Gordon feel at the beginning of the story? What causes Gordon to go upstairs? Why else will Gordon need to go to the second floor in school? What is the main idea of the story? We are going to end today's lesson with some spelling. I have three spelling words for you. We are going to say each word three times, then we will tap it out, and finally, you will need your paper and pencil to write them down. Our first word is the word chow. Chow. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Chow. Let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word chow. Get your tapping fingers ready. Weird. Ch ow. Ch ow. Chow. Let's spell the word chow together. Ow. Ch. Which letter blend makes the ch sound? If you said ch, that's correct. Ch. Ow. Ah. Which letter makes the ah uh sound? That's the vowel o. Ow, wa. Which letter sounds like wa? If you said W, that's correct. The word is chow, chow. The next word is the word soil, soil. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Soil. Let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word soil. S -oy -o. S -oy -o. Soil. Pause the video to write the word soil. The last word is the word shape. Shape. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Shape. This time I want you to say the sounds you hear in the word shape. I will tap with you, but you have to say the sounds. Pause the video to write the word shape. Scholars, thank you so much for reading with me. I hope it helped grow your brain. I love reading with you.